So it's also a ransom situation? Yes. <sighs> well, yes and no. My God. A detective will see you now. Oh. I'm fucking relieved. I understand you want to report a kidnapping? No! I'm Detective Esai Martin. A goddamn cop. With an immaculate record and a high conviction rate. You're a disgraced and dishonorably discharged Marine with a wild story about drug dealers. How'd you know I'd go to the police? You're a good Martian. I hope you now understand the severity of the situation. <gasps> And you'll have footage to keep blackmailing David and me. I never even thought of that. Wow. This guy's trouble. This better be a one-time deal. Come again for David or for me, bring a gun. I don't want to kill an unarmed man. Thanks for coming in. I don't like you, sir. Pause. Okay, I'm gonna have to get that character's name. I'll have to go back and look at it in a minute. But yeah, the actor was in um, *The Punisher* as well. That's probably the probably the most recent thing he's been in. Shit it out. So he's a detective. I have not felt like that since. Remember, right back in season one, when Miller um, went to his boss with the information you know, about everything that was going on with the Anubis and everything else. And she was like, is this the only copy? In the safe. Get, take his credentials and kick him out. What about this? Copies? Erase Detective Miller's case files and cancel all his clearances. What are you doing? You're fired. <gasps> what the fuck? Dogs. He bought you. Get out. Um, gave me those sorts of feelings again. As I say, I think the pace and everything of this season is very much closer to season one, which excites me because it tells me that this is a foundation season. Um, so I shouldn't necessarily expect, you know, I mean, crazy shit happened in season one, but relative to two and three, you know not so much so that's what i'm saying i think this is build this feels like we're building something here which could then last you know two or three seasons beyond this so i'm happy to have the patience actually to slow down try and take in all the details because i know they're all going to be important for a very long and there's a lot more kind of detective work i'm also really enjoying the camera work as well i think the cinematography is is extraordinary I just, I feel so bad for Bobby. It's just one thing after another with her at the moment. She cannot catch a break. I don't know how she's still upright. I really don't. It's really, really tough times for her. So I really hope that she manages to kind of manoeuvre herself through this situation and out the other side. Oh, I should also say as well, we have got an incredible storm happening outside at the minute. So if you're getting some background noise today, it's literally because it's rain is like hammering against the windows and the wind is barreling down the valley. We live, we're literally in between two mountains. So we've got a mountain either side of us and the wind's like flying through the valley. So yes, anyway, play. The instruments on the Edward Israel indicate that there's definitely some kind of structure directly below the path of the lightning, several kilometers below. One hell of a circuit you connected. Oh, God. What do you mean by that? Nothing, it's just a figure of speech. No, it's not. You seem to know a lot more than you're telling me. Mm -hmm. Why is that? I'm really not at liberty to discuss it. Good night and good luck. Hey, guys. Stopped. The lightning stopped. Crisis averted. Wow. Wow. Oh, shit. You all feel that? Yes. Earthquake. That's impossible. This planet has no tectonic activity. It does not have yourself in a subduction, mate. 50 kilometer minimum separation. Do that, and I can pinpoint the source of the quake. Okay. Uh oh. Wow. What have I done, Amos? 
You attacked some of my people here today. Oh, shut up, Mercury. Well, you undermine my team's authority. You put everybody here in danger, including your own crew. Is that a threat? I'm just making sure you understand the situation. <laughs> I do. Mercury. The others don't get it yet, but uh, I know what you are. Oh? And what is that? A killer. You have all the excuses that mm -hmm. make you seem right. Thank you. But the truth is, your dick got hard when you smoked that guy <laughs> in front of everybody. And you can't wait to do it again. Uh, yes! But from one killer to another, you don't want to try that shit with my people. Someday I think you and I are going to end up bloody. How about now? I'm free right now. <laughs> Come on, Amos. Oh. It should be more. If people vote in Nancy Gao, they'll be inviting in other heirs. Our friends have been doing quite a bit of digging into Nancy Gao. I know all of this. From rags to riches, top of her class, blah, blah, blah. It gets more interesting where it talks about her growing up on basic than to the apprentice lottery. I don't have time or patience <laughs> to read her whole fucking biography. Just tell me what you found on her. Nancy Gao was accepted into the Apprentice Lottery on her first try. One week after she applied. We found an addendum attached to her application from former Secretary of Education, Javid, formally requesting that her application be given special consideration. Yeah? She jumped the line. She cheated. What do you want to do with this? Leak it. Discreetly. The media will uncover the rest. Gao says people deserve the truth. Let's give it to them. Pause. Wait. Now I've got a problem with this, my beloved of Asarala, who grew up in an insanely privileged situation. If we want to talk about jumping cues, that's exactly what privilege is. Poor little Nancy has been growing up on basic and has had one bloody favour which she needed to get out of it. Personally, I would, if I were in that situation, I would, that is a gun that she can twist around and shove right up a Vassarala's ass because she can say, excuse me? You're criticising me for this? I think there would be a, an issue there. But we'll see. Play. I don't like this at all. I don't like it. I don't. Tight beam encryption module. She did it. Okay. Got the epicenter. I'll send the coordinates. Not quite sure riding towards the earthquake is something I'd want to be doing right now. Got it. Smart. So these are the people that are picking up the stuff that she's left the door open for them to pick up, right? Uh, yes! Okay. Martin. Fucking okay, hell. Swelling on my legs gone down faster than you said it would. Uh, brace needs adjusting. Must be a quick healer. Payment for services rent. No need to bother. I've noticed you talk a lot to Scotty. 
They trust you. Take you into their confidence. Lunatic, <sighs> not a priest. Come back if you want to just sit again. I'll go. I don't want any more violence. Just the truth and a peaceful resolution. Oh shit! I sense you feel the same way. Sense? What are you doing in here? Getting some help. You can't help us, and now you want us to help you. Mm. Just having a conversation. I had 23 of mine in the ground before they even set foot on it. doesn't give you the right to play judge, jury, and executioner. Not while we're here. Oh, no. You're not going to get away. Oh, no. Please help her. No, me. Do you see this? What is that? What was that? You should be on top of it. Holy shit. What? Oh shit! Was there another shark fin actually being built? Where's David? Something's come up. This was a one-time deal. There's something we need to discuss. The ring gates are the new great hope. All those sensors and guidance systems we built for war are sitting in warehouses gathering dust waiting for you to throw them out. They could be used by millions of people to do something better with their lives. And make you rich? Very noble. After what they did to you, you don't owe this place anything. I'm not a criminal. Mars is going to need a lot more people like you. I signal Kellen and Enzo open fire from the front. Flush them out the back. Then we finish this. He's gonna have you, man. <clears throat> Stay down. Stay down. I need you. I thought you were having a heart attack. I'm just acclimating to the gravity. Uh -uh. So... Thank you. I'll be fine. Two of ours who said the same thing were put in the recycler less than a day later. You got, what is she doing? You don't go back up the well soon. You'll be dead. Just like them. Now, Amy! That thing is chewing up a swath over three kilometers wide. If it continues on its current course, it's going to clip the edge of the settlement. They're going to get flattened. Linking to the Ross's fire controls, we're going to drop a torpedo on that thing, conventional warhead. What? I can't. No, no, no. You, you can't do that. We are witnessing something that human beings have never seen before. And your first instinct is to destroy it? Yeah, before it destroys us. No, no, no. There has to be something underneath powering it, meaning something immensely powerful. What if that blows up too? We still have time. And in the meantime, that they could speed up, change course, do something else we can't even imagine, and then we'd be out of options. We can't take that chance. All right, torpedo's ready. Fire. Oh, shit.
Is that it? They fucked that. Oh, fuck. Get out. They're, Get out they're gonna kill him. That answers your question. You absolute prick. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh. Oh my God. God, I tell you what, that felt more like an episode of The Handmaid's Tale. An episode of The Expanse for the level of rage that it elicited from me. Oh, fucking hell. If I liked Meritri, I'm sure I would considered, I would have considered that a really badass moment. I can appreciate the badassery of it. He's, he's on his game. He's been here wigging. He's clearly got listening devices planted about the site and he's using those to gather intelligence and he just completely outsmarted the um the belters there he outsmarted them ran rings around them figured out their plan and then assassinated them before they could take it out so like from a sheer um kind of animalistic perspective he is you know hashtag winning but I absolutely agree with Amos on this. This is a man who likes to kill people and he he just frankly is grateful that he's got even the flimsiest of justifications to do it and he's going to kill as many people as he can. He doesn't seem to need much provocation at all. He is extremely dangerous and I am going to need him dead. <laughs> he's, my, he's my new Clarissa. I am going to need him dead. Can't happen soon enough. Won't miss him. It will be a joyful moment for me. Really loved his showdown with Amos. I love that Amos was able to show no fear and Mercury tries to sort of threaten, play psychological games with him. Like, you know, I think, you know, well, one day me and you are going to be bloody. And Amos is like, yeah, now? I have time for this right now. Let's go. You know, completely matter of fact. And you saw Mercury just shit himself because he's not a brave he's not brave, he's just cruel. So that was very, very satisfying. I also enjoyed um Amos's interaction with his um his little fuck buddy. I like that. Amos constantly is just it I'm just enjoying him at the moment. We're obviously now gonna have a problem because you know, even belters that might have been on the fence about Murtry prior to this moment are gonna be pissed now because he's killed a whole number of people there unnecessarily. He could have shut that down without murdering people, but he chose not to. Again, he is a rabid dog. Um, and there's only one thing you can do with a rabid dog and that's put it down. And I'm pretty sure someone will get around to it at some point, but I think we're probably gonna just have to put up with him for now. Meanwhile, we've got the scientist was named Elvie. They go off to find the source of the earthquake and it is looks like the formation of another one of the shark fin things, but they just shut it down before it can get any further. They realise that actually, hang on a minute, we can't trust Miller, what the fuck are we doing? No gains this time, we're just taking it out. So they shot it. Of course, it awaits to be seen what the ramifications of that moment are, but we'll have to wait and find out for that. Um, on Mars, very interesting developments with Bobby. His actual name is Paul Schultz. I love the actor. I've deliberately looked him up via Nurse Jackie rather than looking him up by The Expanse because I'm concerned that there could be a giveaway there. So he's currently down as a Detective Martin. I think he's going to be <laughs> I know this is probably going to be me tilting the windows again. But I think he's actually Marco in Aros. 
And if not, I've got an even better surprise waiting for me with that. But anyway, Mr. Schultz, I think I picked his name up as is ESAI, his title or his name, but someone, Martin. Um, he tries to, you know, get Bobby to do the crime. She does the right thing, which I was hoping she would do, which is to report it to the authorities. But it turns out that he's already, he is part of the authority anyway. So... She goes through with it. She's established that the guys picking up the boxes are belters, which makes me think even more that he could be Marco and Aros because the belt and the OPA and all of that sort of stuff. So this is this is gonna be fun. I'm really I'm excited to see him in this part. He's an excellent baddie. I think I think we're in for some some tough times for for Bobby right now. But she's in. Even though she thinks she's out, Bobby is in. The moment that you do a favour for these people, you're fucked. So I don't it's, I don't think that storyline's anywhere near over. I think it's more like the beginning than the ending of her involvement in that. But at least David is home. I'm to be honest, I'm pretty pissed at David right now because he has got Bobby into this mess. For for what reasons I have absolutely no idea. But we are where we are really looks like Bobby's home situation is getting worse. I know that I think in the first episode we've already established that they seem to be arguing a bit about how long Bobby intends to stay and then they just sort of were out of it and now we've seen him making the comment about could you pick up some beers because we're out because we'd seen Bobby drinking quite heavily in the last episode. So I'm, I'm concerned about the level of desperation that Bobby's going to find herself in and she might just need to do what she has to do to get by at some point. And that's just so sad. It's sad when it happens to anyone, but especially to Bobby. Naomi is getting on my last nerve. She really is. I just, just go back up to the ship, wait it out, come back down. I'm I'm not enjoying her pushing herself past the limit. She could die. It's it's just silly. Um, There's a lot that she needs to live for. She's really valuable and she needs to take care of herself and she can come back later. Earth's politics is getting quite shaky now. Avasarala is running now, and it, which if you go back to season one, you know, Avasarala never wanted to do. She's not interested in all the bullshit. She literally just wants to, to do shit. And now she's going to have to have her time divided between, you know, campaigning and also trying to run things. I think that's going to be particularly difficult for her. I know she's downplaying it by saying, you know, it's, this is basically a piece of piss compared to what I'm used to. But I think we all know deep down is actually for Vassarala one of the hardest challenges that she would ever face because she is not, she doesn't do that. So it's going to be interesting to see how she gets on. Um, I think I would have gambled it was a miscalculation to attack Nancy on that particular issue in that particular way particularly as Avasarala herself is so privileged relative to Nancy, I think that could look really, really bad for Avasarala. I don't know what the franchise is on Earth at this point, like how big and who votes and how it works, but I would imagine with the majority of people being on um, basic, it could go both ways. Either you're going to have a lot of those people pissed off and that Nancy somehow jumped the queue, or it could go completely the other way and those people... Although they, in if, say, it was Nancy versus someone else who'd come up on BASIC who hadn't had that privilege, they would side with her. But if the person on the other side of the table is Avasarala, who has enormous privilege, whether actually they would side with Nancy and be like, do you know what any of us would get out of here any fucking way we could? So we're not going to be hating on her. And who the fuck are you to talk, lady? So, and I'm not intimate enough with the, the political climate on earth at that class level to understand what the implications of that would be so i can only give you what i would be thinking about um if i was a strategist trying to make this decision um on behalf of avasarala so that would be my thinking it's a bit unnecessary isn't it I've got to be completely honest, I am ignoring New Origin. I am just blanking him out because I think he's rubbish. I, I really do think that actor is, is rubbish. I'm so sorry, but I'm getting nothing off him. No charisma. There's no chemistry between him and 
a vassarella that was actually quite awkward when he was sort of doing the thing behind her it just didn't feel natural at all so i'm just gonna ignore him now you know my views on him i'm not gonna bring it up again it's over we've moved on i'm just gonna ignore it so next episode it looks like we're gonna be dealing with what's the fallout of Mercury's latest violent outburst will naomi go up back into orbit with the rosinante because she just can't yet adjust i'm sure I'm, i would hope over time she's going to be able to but just not right you know not right now at this minute we're going to get developments with the Vassarala and Gao back on Earth. And obviously we're going to find out what Bobby's next move is with regards to Martin. And I can't wait for it. We had no drummer and Ashford this episode, which makes me think all the more that our Martin is Marco and Aros potentially because we didn't, you know, we don't know what they're up to and we don't know where he is or what he's up to. But anyway, that was a good episode. Again, I feel like these are foundational. That's the way I'm going to treat these episodes is that basically they're laying the groundwork for what's to come. And I am really, really enjoying that. So until the next time, bye-bye.